Hey, this is Rene. Welcome back to another video on this channel. And today I will teach you how you can draw anything in a MetaTrader 5 chart using the C Canvas class and the MQL5 programming framework. This will not be an absolute beginner tutorial, but if you're interested in learning how to program for the MetaTrader 5, make sure to check out the link below this video and you will find the MetaTrader 5 masterclass, which is a complete course which teaches you everything you need to know, even if you are an absolute beginner and you will be able to write your own programs if you work yourself through this course. This will be such a huge improvement for your own trading. So trust me, it's worth um, the learning process and you will benefit so much. But in this video, it will be about the C Canvas class. So we will <clears throat> learn how to draw yeah, pretty much anything that you, that you like. And you can, for example, build something like this. This is a small program where I took the trades in the account history and made a performance equity, a performance graph in a separate indicator window. But um, yeah, let's jump ahead and have a look at the programming itself. So first of all, we will open the IDE, the Metacords Language Editor. And then I think in this case, we can use a script to do what I want to show you. So create a new script, click on next um, with any name, like draw anything, and then click on finish. And this will create a new script for you. Scripts as usual only have the start or on start function. They're only executed once if you activate them. And in this video, we will talk about the C canvas class. I opened it here already and you can find it in your MetaTrader 5 or Meta Editor Navigator if you go to the include folder and then you should find the canvas sub subfolder and here you will find the canvas.mqh file. So if you open the file you will have access to this beautiful uh, C canvas class. Um, so the class is used for working with dynamic resources, which are bitmaps um, and yeah, bitmap labels if it, when it comes to the MetaTrader 5 um, terms. And here we can, first of all, include this class, of course. So we just go hashtag include, and then in these spiky brackets, we provide the path starting in the include folder, which is in this case canvas and canvas .mqh. If we compile this, we will see that we included a lot of different files and we now have access to this beautiful C canvas class. So we can create a, um, an object variable. I just called it canvas here. You can choose any, any name you like, of course. And then we can use this canvas object variable in our on start function to do whatever we want. But first of all, let's have a look at the C canvas function. And um, yeah, you can see there are several um, functions. And when I have a look at a new class that I never worked bef uh, with before, and this was pretty new to me some days ago, I usually have a look at the public um, functions and variables first. And we can see that we have the option to create something here. So these are the functions that we should have a look at, I think. And then, uh, oh, also what you should always do is when you try to work with a new class, you can just go to the um, documentation and you can read about this. So you will find um, uh, entries in the MQL5 reference for pretty much every basic class, which is part of the MQL5 framework. So you will read everything here. And also I think um, no, it's not linked here, but you can just search for something like Canvas MQL5. And then, for example, you will find this article. Wait, let me switch to English, which um, is, is it not available in English? It should be, I think. Wait, let me switch here to English. Well, um, English, yes, there it is. So you can just read this article, which is great and describes pretty much everything that you need to know about the C Canvas class. But yeah, in this video, I will give you a quick breakdown and then you can work yourself deeper into this um, yeah, class if you, if you want to work with it more. So let's just um, use the class. So now since we have this Canvas object variable, 
First of all, if you want to draw something, or you have to understand that this C canvas class can be used to draw on a canvas pretty much. So first of all, we have to define the canvas. So the, the height and the width and where we want to display the canvas in the chart. So we can use the uh, canvas dot create bitmap. Um, yeah, and then we can choose bitmap or bitmap, la bitmap label. Um, I like to use the bitmap label because then you can anchor um, your bitmap where you want to draw later on, like this canvas in the chart, um, using a X and Y coordinate. So we choose the chart ID. Zero is usually the main chart. The sub window is also zero for the main, like, the main chart. This would be sub window one where the account performance is shown right now. And then you go ahead and provide a name for, this will be uh, important for the for the bitmap that we create later on. We can draw, uh, say for example, draw anything should be the name. Then we have a X and Y coordinate and we can choose 50 and 50. Usually starts in the upper left corner. So we will go to the right by 50 pixels and down 50 pixels. And then we choose the width and Oops, the width and the height. Um, um, the width could be 300 pixels and height could be 300 pixels also. And then we have a color format. Um, we can choose color format RG, uh, ARGB -R -B normalized. I didn't really work with different uh, color schemes so far, so I just choose this one. So if we compile this, we can see everything is working just fine. And I think if we run this program or the script in the chart, it will actually, it could actually create something already. So let me drag and drop it onto the chart and let me check if we can find this object. So yeah, we find this bitmap label, which is called draw anything. And you can see that the parameters are 50, 50 and the width and the height are also um, yeah, taken from this function. So we created this bitmap label and bitmap, bitmap labels are just like they, they have a size and they are somewhere in the chart. The somewhere in the chart is defined by the X and Y distance. So starting in the upper left corner, you go 50 to the right, 50 down um, to find the place where it starts. And then we have the width and the height. So we will have a width of 300 pixels and a height of 300 pixels. So this is a window should be, it will be somewhere here in this area now where we can draw anything. So we can only draw on this canvas that we just created. So let's go ahead and try to draw something. So we can go ahead and, um, oh yeah, and this um, bitmap label that we just created, it's just a bunch of pixels. So we have, I think it's 300 times 300, uh, 300, so 9,000 or 90,000 pixels and we can set every, uh, wait, every pixel. Oh yeah, it's pixel set. So we can just go ahead and choose, for example, 10 and 10 and choose a color and we have to use color to a r GB function here and then we choose any color like color red and this should create or set a pixel on the canvas that we that we just created. So yeah, it will be pretty hard to find this specific pixel here, right? So maybe wait, let me let me set some of these pixels here. Make everything red and I think I will have to update this or run it again. Oh yeah, my fault. It's a script. So I will have to run it again. Uh, not signals. So draw anything. Applied on the chart. Didn't do anything. This is maybe because of the old... Uh, image that was still there. So I maybe have to delete it first. Uh, so before I create a new one. Oh yeah. Also make sure to call the canvas um, update function and redraw your canvas if you changed something. So maybe that's the issue. Yeah. Okay. So there you see now I call the draw anything again and you can see here 
Yeah, I mean, it's really small because these are just five pixels. But if you just copy the code, you will see there is a small line. And I can now go ahead and set pixels wherever I want. So I can just go ahead and set random pixels wherever I want in this canvas that we just created. So let me just, yeah, let me just place some pixels here. Um, uh, something like this, maybe. So if we compile this and run it again, we will just see a bunch of pixels. So like just somewhere. So this is the way to draw anything you want in this chart or in this canvas that we just defined. And since it's really a big effort to place every single pixel with this method, the canvas class provides some more predefined functions. For example, we could go ahead and say canvas line. And we can say we want to start at x1, let's start at 10 and 10, and then we want to stop at 150 and 100, and the color should be color to ARGT, whatever, color blue maybe, we want to draw a blue line. So if we apply this, we will see that it now draws a blue line. So yeah, you can create like lines, you can create canvas, um, uh, you can create a rectangle starting at 40, 40, and uh, having these parameters, color to uh, color red. Let's draw a red rectangle. So you can see inside of this canvas that I created, I can, I can draw anything I want. And everything is always pretty much handled by the MetaTrader 5 as one image, one bitmap. And yeah, this it's just a way to like colorize the pixels in this bitmap and then we will see shapes or whatever we want to draw. I mean, we could draw a smiley, we could we could also draw text. I think there are pretty easy ways to write text. Like for example, I think we can use text out and let's try to write something here. This is a test text and the color, color to blah, 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 color yellow. And alignment, yeah, we don't really need the alignment here. So if we compile this, this should, in the best case, draw a text. And yeah, you can see there is a test text. Color is a little bit unreadable, so let's change it to black. And you can see the C Canvas class is great to display anything on the chart. The one big problem, if you want to say so, or the issue is that you cannot really interact with this easily because it's, these are not three different objects in the object list, but it's just one image, one picture pretty much. So everything is combined in this bitmap label here. So yeah, that's the, the big difference. I mean, we could, I think we could move the whole thing. If I change this, yeah, I mean, we could move the whole image, but um, yeah, I mean, it doesn't really, it doesn't really help us. Whoops, it's gone. Um, but you cannot really work with the um, with one single object in this image, pretty much, because we cannot select like the line or the rectangle. And yeah, that's pretty much how you can use the canvas class. And um, if you have a look at this article again, like canvas M five, this article, you can see. A lot of cool stuff that you can do with this canvas class. There are some examples. Examples, so you can oh, you can for example also set a background color, like uh, canvas. Uh, um, can I use fill? Or it's. Uh, I think in the in the in the article, it uses erase to set a default color, color aqua, for example. This will clear out everything and make the background uh, aqua colored background. So, mm, didn't really work here. Why not? Color to, ah, because I forgot to use the color to ARGB. 
but now we should see the aqua color background and there it is. So yeah, you can see this is the, the, the drawing canvas that we created. So we could draw everything in, uh, everywhere in this aqua um, area here. And we can also choose a transparency level. Canvas, uh, I think there's a, func a function for this. Um, a constant char value. Oh yeah, we have to... Um, transparent level change by setting the alpha channel value from zero. Can we just choose a yeah, let me just try this by providing I don't know if this if it works like this, but yeah, it works like this. So you can see there is some transparency going on going on now. We could choose 20 or 50 or whatever we want, and it will have a different appearance. So yeah, you can see this canvas class is pretty strong. It's pretty um yeah, it's pretty cool. You can you can draw anything and yeah, just read this article if you're interested to learn more. And also that you, you can do crazy stuff. You can also use a canvas class where uh, canvas mp 5 um, there's a canvas 3D class where you can also do like really crazy stuff. I mean, I don't really see how this, um, wait, I think there's an article. Uh, I, I don't really see how this helps in writing um, trading programs, but it's just something I want to show you so you can see what MQL5 is capable of doing. So you could create a program like this which is pretty interesting, but I mean, it, in most cases, it's just a cool visual effect and it doesn't really help with the trading. But yeah, maybe the C Canvas class can be useful to one or two guys of you um, who want to add some visual features or just make the chart look more beautiful or maybe add some trees or cars or whatever in the chart for some, some cool effects. Okay, hope you like this. Um, let me know what you think about this below in the comments. And as always, if you're interested in learning how to program for the MetaTrader 5, check out the links be below this video. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a great time. Good trades. Bye-bye.